welcome to Living the Empowered Life. My name is Yvonne and this channel is all about bringing you content that's empowering, encouraging and inspiring. So if this is the type of content you need in your life, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of any new uploads. And if you like the content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. So in today's video, I'm doing a book review on a book I recently read and it is called How to Make It Happen by Maria Hassis Farnes. So I bought this book in January 2020 and I paid £4.60 three for it. I think it was from Amazon. I will leave a link to it down in the description box below. I bought this book basically because I was inspired by her first book and it seemed like a useful book to read, especially as I'm still at the beginning of my entrepreneur journey. So right from the introduction of this book, Maria dives straight into the deep end. She gives insight into her experiences as an entrepreneur of 20 years. And I must admit, it was kind of a rude awakening to start a book with the introduction just being so straight to the point but that is just one of the things I do appreciate about Maria's style of writing she doesn't sugarcoat things and she tells you things how they are what's really refreshing what she shares in the introduction which is almost like a comforting word for those of us who are entrepreneurs who are not as advanced on our journeys as Maria is is that she shares her ups and downs right from the beginning you know she talks about some of her disappointments things that she struggled with she talks about having financial difficulties in her business and how that affected her being able to pay um, suppliers and different people who um, the company would have to pay and she shares her journey of how she pushed through and made it happen and that is really refreshing to hear because too many times and I was laughing because recently she did on her Instagram a kind of a parody of how entrepreneurs present themselves on the gram that it's all first class flights flying to tropical um, destinations doing big bold and amazing things all the time and in her parody that she did is that she was kind of taking the mick out of it like the people the entrepreneurs that showed themselves to be doing all these amazing things but she's showing herself you know lucky in boxes in trainers not glammed up to the t's you know um, a pencil behind her ear and stuff like that getting on with the real work and I think that is the real true picture of an entrepreneur but sometimes when you look on Instagram and you see um, entrepreneurs how they present themselves it's like every day is amazing and I can definitely say as somebody who's nearly three years into being an entrepreneur I think I more resonate with the picture that Maria shares of what being an entrepreneur really is so for me this book was worth buying alone just for page 13 and 14 she shares some real deep insights and some real truths and I'm going to share a little bit with you even so wherever I go I find people in all walks of life but particularly business entrepreneurs striving to portray themselves in the best possible light and only very rarely will you hear the true uncensored warts and all story of how they came to where they are today for example I was listening to a beauty bloggers panel and it was a great panel but when it came to the question of how I made it as a beauty blogger I got frustrated by some of the answers I was well aware of some of the inside stories of what they went through to get to where they are today and I was well aware of the huge teams of people behind some of them that agents, the managers, publicists and so who had helped them. One of the bloggers had a previous career in the industry before she started posting on YouTube and amassing millions of followers but her advice to the audience could in my view have been more specific about, about all that. Instead she kept saying love what you do and work hard which in itself isn't bad advice but I would have liked there to have been more of a focus on the time, setbacks and teams of people who helped her get to where she is today. I don't question talent, but everyone listening to this was thinking, well, I love what I do and I work 24-7. So why am I not as successful as you? I think that all of us who have grown a successful career or business have a responsibility to give some practical advice. And for me, that means detail about the steps we have taken and the help that we have received along the way. So that was just some of her thoughts on page 13 about people who are entrepreneurs who are not really sharing their full story. And you know what? The full story is never pretty because in order to be an entrepreneur, a successful one, you have to be determined, you have to be consistent. And as Maria says, you have to make things happen, whether you feel like it or not, whether you're having a bad day or not. Even if you come across challenges, you're supposed to look at them and find a way to go around them or over them. You know, these are really important things that a lot of entrepreneurs don't share with other people. And I appreciate the fact that Maria has shared this in her book. 
What I love about this book is Maria's transparency. She shares the real inside truth about being an entrepreneur. She shares her mistakes, things that she feels guilty about, for instance. She talks about the fact that she's got this business that is time consuming, that is her dream, that is her passion. But also she's a wife and a mum to two boys. And, you know, some of the times when she feels mum guilt, she talks about that as well. And she talks about, you know, how she manages that. Because for a lot of time, a lot of people, especially women with kids, do feel mum guilt and they do feel okay am I neglecting my family in going after my dreams in pursuing things that I know that I'm good at it's something that I have experienced at times myself one of the things that I was like written about with the book is when she was talking about the fact of asking partners to help and she was like you know well both of you made the ba- made the baby I didn't really think that was kind of a nice thing to say but I can understand why she's saying it in a way because maybe a lot of women out there don't have partners who are readily helping them or um, encouraging them to pursue their dreams or helping with childcare or helping look after the kids. One of the inspiring stories that Maria shares in this book is when she first started out in her business trying to get her products into luxury stores and the process that she went through. I was just like, oh my gosh, some people would have given up by now, you know, but her tenacity and her determination to just continue to go after what she wanted did pay off seven years later. Now, this is one of the things about this book that you will get. You will get a real life account of what it means to be an entrepreneur. There's no sugar coating in this book. It shows you real-time process to get certain things. There's times in my entrepreneur journey, which is only nearly three years in, where I'm thinking to myself, oh, am I really going to be able to do it? This is really hard work. But here Maria is with this dream and passion of hers to get her products into luxury stores and getting them in there seven years later. This just goes to show you how hard the journey of entrepreneurship is. She then shows how the process of rejection works and breaks it down into stages. She then also talks about how you can deal with rejection, especially when it comes to business, because as she says, rejection is part of life. You know, it's something that we all have to face in whatever area of our life, but how to deal with it when you're an entrepreneur starting your business is actually really important. And I've experienced that myself where I've allowed rejection to be turned inward and it then discourages me. So I think it's really helpful that she's shared that. Another thing I love about this book is that she shares little how to make it happen tips at the end of each chapter. And the chapters, you know, are fairly good in length. She goes into quite a lot of detail with the things that she shares, which is very good. If you're somebody who is right, right at the start of the journey and haven't got a clue about anything to do with how to make things happen as an entrepreneur, this book actually is a good little book for you to pick up. So chapter eight, Dress to Impress, that chapter didn't really interest me a lot. You know, it had things about wardrobe secrets and how to dress for travel. I didn't really find that that interesting. But if you're somebody who needs help to, you know, know what to wear for business meetings or for interviews or how to dress for travel on a plane and things like that, you may find that chapter interesting. My favorite chapter of the book was about motivation which is towards the end of the book. And I just want to quickly share with you this. The key to success is to keep on going and keep motivating yourself, whether you're feeling it or not. The key to success is consistency and doing something every single day to take you closer to your goal, whether you're feeling it or not. And take it from someone who has been there. There are lots of things that can make you feel like throwing in the towel. And she also shares some tips about how she keeps motivation going as well. So this book is not really an exciting book to read. And that is not really anything to do with other than because of the subject matter. You are dealing with real facts about entrepreneurship from somebody who's been in the business for 20 years. She's telling you it how it is. As she shared in this book, it's a journey of ups and downs all the time. It's never a journey of you are there, you're complete, you nailed it. Entrepreneurship is a lifestyle. It is a business lifestyle. And as she shared in this book, you will have highs and lows. And that is just the sole reason why this book is not exciting. But if you want a real life perspective from somebody who's doing it, who's had success, 
who's had things gone wrong, who's made mistakes, who is sharing her vulnerability in an open and honest way, then I would encourage you to check out this book. There are things that I will definitely go back and sit down and just read solely on its own. So for that reason, I definitely feel that I will have got my money's worth out of it. If you are a new entrepreneur and you've read this book or you've read this book in general, but let me know if you did find any of the advice given in this book helpful. Until the next video, take care.